Hi everyone, welcome to Digital Sweeney on YouTube and please do not forget to subscribe because you'll benefit from these tips and tricks and of course my regular videos. And this is again based on your questions, especially during these unit series. Uh, many of you are asking, okay, you have large images uh, and you have large masks, corresponding masks, right, that you have annotated. How would you divide them into smaller patches so you can actually train a unit or whatever algorithm you're trying to train? So this video is exactly about this, explaining this, believe me, it's very, very simple and straightforward. Of course, you can write uh, every line you know, uh, to, to take in the large images and then cut them down. I used to do that. Now, there is a library called Patchify, and I've used it in a couple of my videos in the past, but that's exactly what you can use to cut down your images and uh, store the cropped images or patched images into a, into a NumPy array or save your patched images to your drive so you can use it later, okay, one way or the other. So let's actually uh, go ahead and look at how to cut them down into smaller patches and uh, save it on the hard drive. Of course, in the next upcoming tutorials, I'm gonna use Patchify to uh, generate these NumPy arrays, so I'm not gonna make a separate video on that topic because that's, that's going to be covered anyhow, okay? So let's jump into our spider IDE. Okay, so here is the code and uh, what you need to do is pip install Patchify, P-A-T-C-H-I-F-Y, and it works great. And what I have here are uh, a couple of images. Well, one image, this is, uh, let me open to show what we have here. This is an image that has, uh, that's an image stack actually, a TIFF stack that has 12 images here. Of course, in real life, you may have hundreds of these images, right, that you have annotated. And uh, here is the corresponding mask. So these are large. These are 1K by 1K, uh, typically too large to train on smaller GPUs on uh, or on regular systems. So we need to cut them down into maybe 256 by 256 patches. So how many do you get? Uh, 1024 by 256, four uh, of these along uh, this direction. And then 768 means you get like three of these 256 size patches. And we need to do exactly the same for both so things match, right? So it's again, pretty simple. So here I'm uh, using, uh, because these are TIFF files, I'm using a library called TIFF file, T-I-F-F-F-I-L-E, to read these TIFF files. You can use OpenCV if they're regular large images or a uh, scikit image. So uh, these libraries should be pretty straightforward. There is nothing uh, other than Patchify, which is what we talked about. And there are two things, by the way, uh, in Patchify, you can import Patchify method and also unpatchify, meaning you can cut your images down into smaller sizes and then do something and then put those uh, uh, morphed or transformed or images back into original sizing. And we'll do all of these in the uh, next couple of tutorials where we talk about unit on large images and uh, and stuff. But uh, this, is, uh, this is how you can save them onto your hard drive. So let's go ahead and read the large image and large mask stack. It's basically tiff.imread, that's it. Okay, so let's go ahead and read the image. And as you can see, it's 12 images, each 768 by 1024, okay? Let's do the same for our masks. 12, image, 12 masks, each 768 by 1024. Now, I would like to go through each of these 12 images and then cut this 768, 1024 into smaller patches. That's exactly what we are doing this, this part of the code. So for each of these image in this large image stack dot shape zero, right? So for each of these images in uh, range zero to 12, uh, we are assigning my large image as uh, large image 0, large image 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 11 to get all our 12 images. Then for each of these large images, I'm going to just apply Patchify to, with a size of 256 by 256 and a step size of 256. If your step size is, for example, 128, then you will get 256 by 256 pa patches, except there'll be an overlap, right? So I did uh, 256 here, so this is an exact crop at where I want it. So it's up to you how you want to do it. That's why this is an easy, uh, you know, a very nice way of cutting these uh, uh, images. Now, then once the patchify is done, for example, if I, let's go ahead and run this single line so you see what patches, oh, actually large image is not defined. Let's go ahead and define this. I want to see, I want to make sure you see, okay, my large image is, a single large image is 768 by 1024, right? So that's what we have. Now, I take that single large image and apply Patchify of 256 by 256. So eventually what you get after applying Patchify is an array of three by four 
by 256 by 256. Self-evident, right? 3 representing this 768 dimension divided by 256 and 4 this 1024 by 256 and then each image is 256 by 256. If I change this to step size of 128 then this would be let's only run these lines right there then we should see a few more now you see five by seven because there is an overlap right there not just three by four i hope you got the point here so let's go ahead and continue 256 let me go back now that i have this array of four three by four by 256 by 256 i need to go through each of these uh, tiny patches and then save them. That's exactly what I'm doing with these two for loops. Okay, for i in range, go through shape zero, which is like my first dimension, and then the second dimension. My single patch image is basically my the patches area with these i and j, and that's it. Once you have that, go ahead and write the file. So you can use OpenCV if you are saving them as JPEG or PNG. I'm using TIFF the same TIFF file so I can save them as a TIFF image. And I'm saving the uh, these uh, these images with an extension of INJ so I know exactly what patch number they belong to and also the image number, okay? And I did exactly the same for mask, that's it. Nothing different. So let's go ahead and let's confirm that there is nothing in our uh, nothing in our patches folder. So in patches, I'm saving images under images here and masks under masks. That's it. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this entire code once. It should be pretty fast. I have only 12 images. Now if I go to, let's open masks in a new window. So you can see all the little masks over there and then let's open images right here. So now you can clearly see my images and masks side by side. There you go. Okay, so there's the image and here is the corresponding mask for that and where did it come from it came from uh image number one or slice number one and i and j i is one and j is two so this is the slice number two this is slice number two, three and so on okay i hope uh, i hope this makes uh, this makes sense and uh, at least i hope this this benefits uh, some of you and again please subscribe to this channel keep watching for the tips and also for the regular videos on the main topics. Thank you.